I'm Isander. And I'm Coda. And today we're going to be covering the Legion of the Damned. The Legion of the Damned. It was a wide margin. Yeah. This one was a pretty wide margin. These are the ghost guys, right? Yeah. No, we we, we will get to that later, but for Ooh, now we spooky. are left with the... Why don't we... Why didn't we wait for Halloween? Because our... We're left of the Minotaurs, uh, the Crimson Fists, the Celestial Lions duking it out. Uh, the... It is whoever with the fuck you killed my train of thought. Uh, yeah, you vote by sounding off in the comments. Uh, the one with the biggest fandom wins. This is a democracy, so this could have been a Halloween episode. It's looking like the next one's gonna be a Minotaur one. It would have been awesome. They are they are very organized. Um, I won't weigh in any more than that. But I I I know a trend when I see a trend. So if you want to join in on it, sound off in the comments. If you want to go against the Minotaurs, sound off in the comments as well. Another way to vote is by heading on over to Patreon, where you get to be a swing state, baby. You get a bonus to your vote, as well as a bonus episode every single week. With this week, we covered the homunculi, which was a blast, but messy. Um, Very messy. Uh, and, yeah. You know, it, that's an understatement. Listen, if we, if we get to have Patreon, that means we get to be not PG, so it's great. It's fantastic. Uh, <laughs> access to the Discord, as well as a bunch of other perks, like a live stream later on today as well. Yeah. So if you want to get all of that while also helping us keep this show running, you can head on over to patreon.com slash Isander and Dakota. For those of you already there, thank you very much. For those of you signing up as I speak, thank you as well. Now, let's get into the spooky, scary skeletons. Why didn't we wait for this to be a Halloween episode? These things happen. It is what it is. Are they skeletons? Mm, no. Okay. No. Um, well, I, their armor is a skull, isn't it? And very flamey. They they look very traitorous. They, they look very traitorous. They look very sketchy. And they're very, very important. They're one of those things that the Inquisition would trade incalculable things for they, they want to know what the they desperately want to capture one and interrogate one of these things it's so bad because they are the closest thing the closest thing save for maybe celestine we have to imperial demons i see yeah they um they have very interesting ways of getting in and out of combat uh every time an inquisitor is about to capture one or one is about to be um basically grabbed away from its group fate almost seems to twist like a natural disaster will happen or like an enemy will attack at the perfect moment and they'll be able to leave every time without fail huh yeah it's so this is like you know that scene from deadpool 2 where the 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 mutant whose power is luck mm -hmm, is probably. running through the city and like things are just crashing around her mm -hmm. i think she's getting chased by juggernaut and juggernaut's just getting like five buses directly crashing into him as she he's trying to chase her mm -hmm, this mm -hmm. is that kind of scenario specifically if you try and capture one it's it's very funny um they are um while the emperor in life uh jimothy space himself did not believe in gods and was very like atheistic like no 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 don't worship anything just like it's such a far cry from the modern imperium what that guy was uh espousing yeah but uh nowadays he doesn't really get to espouse much from his chair he is a skeleton uh, yeah he's just a skeleton he's a, he's a hell of a lighthouse he's a hell of a lighthouse uh great decoration for earth too uh in the time since he's had conservatively billions of people sacrificed to him conservatively i i did the math because we discussed this a little bit at the end of the last patreon video mm -hmm. um of how many psychers mm -hmm. have been sacrificed to him a thousand a day roughly for 365 and it's around four trillion yep four trillion psychers fed into the single greatest psyker that existed and well weird stuff starts to happen i don't care how atheistic he was before he it's, when you have four trillion psychic beings psych, like sacrificed to your soul, mm -hmm. uh, uh, yeah, the, 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 it, you're gonna. There's a result that's gonna happen here. Yes, there's 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 a lot of weird stuff that's happening with the emperor, and that's to be covered in maybe a Golden Throne episode, maybe an Emperor episode. I'm not sure. Maybe but both these, at the same time. These are maybe it'd be very difficult to do, but we'll see. These are uh, one of those things that seem like a side effect of what's going on with the emperor because he the way they appear is in pillars of fire onto a battlefield um now to be fair that sounds very chaos they they, they do mm, which god though 
Because yeah, that's the there thing. Was, that's there was, the thing, there though. There was no madness in the area. There was no, like, latex that appeared. No purple. There was no, like, pillar of blood. No, like, plague. So who's causing the pillars of fire? Uh, he, he, that's the thing. It sounds very chaos, but, like, who? Exa- and when they arrive, they're usually wearing all sorts of skulls, which, I mean, it's the Imperium. It's the Imperium, you know? They drink out of the things. They're everywhere. Uh, what is far more unusual is the fact that uh, when they leave the flames, they're still, like, licking them. Like, the, the decals you will see on the, the, the Legion of the Damned, this is my favorite thing, um, it's not, like, painted on. When you look at them, it looks like that is just segments of them on fire. Oh. And it's the only thing that really seems to cast light on them. Everything else behaves like... Have you seen that one image of, like, a scientist holding a basketball dunked in Vantablack? Ah. And, like, it doesn't... like It doesn't look light right. Light is not... Light black reflects a little bit it, of light, it, you know. It looks like a missing object in a game render. Exactly, and so they they look like that. Basic light does not really affect them, save for the fire licking their armor. It's so cool. So they look like they look like a a a an unselectable character who is currently in Dark Souls Three, embered up. Yeah, uh, it's it's more it's a little bit more than embering. You're you're right on track, but I would say instead of embering, it's like they're on fire. Okay, they're on. F- it's like the last boss of it's, Dark Souls. It's Ember Plus. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And um, when when they arrive, I I love it because they will fire uh, bolters that are also on fire, and so you have incendiary rounds. And everyone who has seen them fire has gone. The standard issue magazine size is a certain size. That. They didn't reload once. Shouldn't they have had to reload by now? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, they tend to, because of the way they arrive, pillars of fire and all, they never really do it from a distance. It's usually, like, right there, right then. Well, uh, to um, be fair, this is also Space Marines. They don't seem like... They, they, they seem like the type to charge at you, and I'm going to get you. It depends. Space Marines do employ tactics. They're hit yeah. run ones. They're ones you won't see from miles away. There are some who will be inside you. There are some who will win the fight by demoralizing you. There's plenty, plenty of options. I know the Raven Guard do have sniper crews. Mm-hmm. So, and my favorite thing is after the fight, after the fight is won, um, they will do the the Batman and Commissioner Gordon thing of like, and how will we solve this case? And then he turns around and Batman's gone. And so the the legion genuinely the legion of the dam does that sometimes where it's like whoa who was that that saved me and they're just gone they're just they've disappeared yeah. uh, no pillar of light on the way back up they just disappeared just silencing like gone. the camera pans away and then it pans back and they're gone my, my favorite in the in the Arkham games is they do that to Gordon all the time but you are playing as Batman so like you'll get the scene of Gordon going whoa and then like it'll just zoom out and you're like on a building somewhere else and it's like dude. <laughs> Dude, this is just you being dramatic. I want to see that from the perspective of Batman. Like, he, y- you, the camera is from Batman's perspective. You watch Gordon turn around and then you go, oh, oh, oh God, oh, God. Yeah. And you instantly, like, look for some form of uh, uh, rooftop to grapple to. Yeah, uh, it's, I love it so much because it robs <laughs> it of the mystique. So far, we have never gotten a game on these guys, so they still get to keep uh, their, their mystique. Uh, they are maybe they need an Arkham style game. It wouldn't work. It, no, yeah, I know. Because I was, I was literally just throwing sh- spaghetti at the wall to well, see what would stick. Well, it's because there are some Marines where they could get. There's a couple that could get an Arkham style game and it would work. You know, um, these guys don't do that because they're very um, like horde oriented almost. Isn't isn't space the first Space Marine game kind of like a a? No, no it's closer to like um. Gosh, what, what? It's closer to like DMC, isn't it? No. Without the big. Those. What are those games where you, there's just so many enemies and you're just cutting through them with like massive. Oh. Warframe. No, it's it's very similar. Oh, um, I don't. It's it's escaping me. It's some form of horde game. Yeah, but it's 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 closer to that where. They do a really good job of selling the strength of Space Marines by virtue of, oh, that's a lot of things you just went through. Yeah. And it looks like they're going to do the same thing with the Tyranid one because I love the shot. Uh, by the way, they haven't paid me a penny for this. I just, I love, I, I know when I like something and I will shamelessly talk about it. Also, they're sh- blue, so. There's this, n- whatever. There's a shot of um, them walking out onto the planet mid Tyranid invasion and you just see this, like, this tendril of the hive streaking across the sky, but when you look closely, you can see it's 
individual Tyranid bioforms flying around. Hmm. And I'm like, oh. It's just a oh, swarm tentacle. I will be, yeah, I'll be getting that game so so fast. And it then you'll, so good. you'll be making me play it. Yeah, well, maybe we'll do a Let's Play. Maybe we won't. That was something that was put to the patrons, and I'll put that to you guys as well. Would you like to take a Grumps-style playthrough of a that? A game Grumps playthrough of Space Marine 2. It would be fun. I yeah. love it. Um, if they'd like to send us a copy, that'd be great. Uh, <laughs> 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 but uh, these guys are... They, they they aren't the the like typical space marine kind of solo hero. They they tend they tend to show up in in pretty big numbers. They're in packs, not. You you rarely see, you rarely see some of the Legion of the Damned. <laughs> you kind of just see the Legion of the Damned every time. Um, they never, they don't take any prisoners. Uh, they don't really take... How are they going to keep them on their ghost ship? Well, the, there isn't even a ghost ship. They it's, would they would fall through the floor because it's, it's a ghost ship. It's very... It's spectral. No, because it's not the Flying Dutchman. It's not the Flying Dutchman because if... if they just appear. There is no perfume department for you to escape through. Mm. And it's not the typical Space Marine thing of um, trying to get ground inch by inch or trying to, like, outthink or, oh, make sure you get these guys and not everyone else. It's very much so we are here. That means you needed me to kill that thing. Mm. And so they just kill that thing so swiftly. And then disappear. Yes, um, they are the same size as regular Space Marines, the same strength as regular Space Marines, the same speed as regular Space regular Marines. Regular as in the OGs or the Primaris? That's such a good question. Oh, that's such a good question. Like? I would say probably, because they have been showing up recently too, hmm. probably equal to, just because of their nature, no, I'd say they're probably hmm. well, because then now we, we get into the theory. If, if they're if they're like lost souls, like the lost souls of like uh, dead or dying like um, space marines, and then I'd imagine just sheerly because of how new Primaris marines are, they're probably mostly the OGs, May and some Primaris are filtering in as they filter out of I, this mortal coil. I, I want to answer that, but like that would take us to the, the section on the, the various ways that they are possibly made. Okay. So can I, can I put a pin in that? Oh, we'll put a pin in that. We'll, we'll just I, was, I was just, I'm, I'm, listen, I was throwing a question out there and then a guess at that question. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You're not too far off. We're just, I'm going to put a pin in that for okay. now. We're just going to say they move about as fast as your average space Marine. They're about as strong as your average space Marine. And they're just going for headshots every single time. Are they getting them? Yeah. Okay. So, dead shot the space marine. Yes. Uh, whenever, whenever they arrive, if you observe them taking shots, the bullets will sometimes just pass through, like like the, like they're not really there, like an apparition. It's they don't have friendly fire on. They turn friendly fire off, which means theoretically they could fire through each other. It's it's very fun. Um, they they can get nailed because it does happen. Um, but when they do, they it's very zombie-esque what'll happen like you, you know like uh, in in any zombie game or media where you like blast off half of something's being and it just keeps walking at you ah they they will take wounds that would normally make regular marines pause at least and they'll just keep going and then just keep walking mm -hmm, mm -hmm. like like you could blast because you know like if you blast off you know an arm from a human being bare minimum you've thrown their balance off oh even, yeah D bare minimum e even if they're a space marine with all the weird extra organs you've 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 caused them problems you have altered their equilibrium their aim might be a little off you will do that with these guys and they will keep on firing um if if you manage to kill one which good luck they have this relic that if you make eye contact with it it will suck your soul out and eat it oh cool and then put out this miasma that will surround the legion and then it will make them immune to all incoming fire while reforming those who have fallen. Yeah, they, 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 have, they have like a phylactery thing going on. Huh. Yeah. Oh my God, they're so much fun. That mm -hmm. is really selling the whole like uh, the lost spirits ghost marines. Yep. I'm, I'm kind of liking it. Whenever they appear on a battlefield, obviously every, every resource is devoted to figuring out what's going on. They, we've never found a ship um, that is undesignated in orbit, so they're not coming in via ship. Um, and they seem to just move through straight warp. Hmm. But in a way that 
implies they have mastery over it because there are a couple of times they've arrived in places where nobody else could because there's a warp storm. It's not like, oh, let's fire up the Geller field and then uh, hope that like some of us leave. It's just like, up, uh, hold, go through, mm -hmm. at, mm -hmm. there we go, and we're the, good. The Inquisition's gotten to the point where they, they have like a, like a little conspiracy board going on. And so they, they've identified some of the markings despite them being very withered. And so they will see some guys um, like, oh, we saw them at this battle, but then we also saw a sighting at this battle. That was only five minutes later. But halfway across the galaxy. They're tracking reoccurring characters. It, yes, yes. And my favorite is in one instance, there was a time where the full force was deployed in two places at the same time. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that conspiracy board must get confusing. On top of all of that, right? The, the, the <laughs> whenever somebody is rescued by these guys, their memory starts to fade very quickly. Like, memory of them is, is inherently very hard to keep, so it's really hard to get first-hand accounts of them. And mm. um, I, oh gosh, oh gosh, I, I don't remember where I heard this, but this was ages ago. Uh, sometimes, so this one, again, you know, sometimes... Dubiously I, canon? Dubiously canon. Um, sometimes when things are captured by, like, the scanners on a machine spirit, and it's these guys, the mechanicus will have to, like, coax it out of the spirit, because they're like, eh. I don't know what when I saw, but I'm not a fan. When you're such a spooky, scary ghost that you scare a computer. Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> the computers in 40K can have person. Well, they have machine spirits. Not intelligence, machine spirits. It's just, it's either clippy. It's mm -hmm. either clippy where it's a voice assistant or it's full AI and mm -hmm. they don't want to admit it. And they never will. Um, thanks to this nature they have, it's given them this knack of arriving right when they're needed to. And it's, it's never just, oh, they've arrived at this random planet and saved them. Good for them. It is, whoa, thank goodness they arrived at that planet because this had a cascading effect that just helped out everyone. <laughs> like, they will appear at one battle, but that the victory will ripple out and actually, like, save a it couple is, of planets. It is de facto the most efficient planet to save mm -hmm. because it, it yeah. is They're doing it in, in a way... they, they the patterns they seem to use to appear are so accurate and so always helpful. It borderline looks like what the Eldar Farseers pull off, where they will just go, I've seen the future, redirect that. Hmm. And you know you know how the Eldar work. They just do it, and it happens to work out for them. But this, this is very close to that. It's odd. Yes. Um, now, I, I figure unexplainable. Of course. All uh, of this is unexplainable. Maybe they're sniffing the void. They're sniffing the warp and going, hmm. This is de facto like they they can see through the the the, the red strings of fate after uh, sniffing the void. You no, know, that's that's pretty much correct. We have a couple of theories of how they came to be. The most likely of the bunch is that they are um, part of this group called the Firehawks, and the 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 basic gist of it is the Firehawks existed, and then they went into this warp storm, which. I mean, that'd get you. Warp storms are not great to be in. Yeah, um, they survived, but they were so far off course they effectively vanished and were spat out in a corner of the galaxy where the Emperor's light did not reach. So they had a bit of trouble getting back. This was supposed to be like a twelve-hour road trip, like a cross-state kind of a thing. Mm -hmm. They are now like all the way in Timbuktu. Yeah. 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 And 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 the the exposure to the warp changed them and gave them this kind of mutation that wore away at them like a disease and so they would atrophy at just incredible rates in incredible rates and this gave them a kind of obsession with death and so they changed a lot of their insignias to that stuff and um, they, they became really obsessed with their fate and so even though there's not many of them left at this point they kind of all scrubbed um, all Anything that would identify them as the Firehawks off their armor and change their motto to For the Emperor Beyond the Point of Death. Hmm. Yes. Hmm. Yes. And They're going through their edgy phase. Is it edgy when you wind up that far away from everything you know and love and have been mutated beyond any form of recognition? Fair enough. Like... Like, come on. It's not necessarily... I mean, they have a reason. It uh, it doesn't make it less edgy. It just make, gives them a reason mm -hmm. to be that edgy. Um, the, the Firehawks 
are descendants of the Ultramarines, um, but from the cursed founding. So, mm-hmm. I think that would be well. But as with anything sketchy in the galaxy, the Dark Angels have started to take a closer look at them. So maybe that's where they come from. We don't really know very well. Um, what we do know is they. Plausib- these are all theories. They plausibly use the Emperor's tarot to pick pinpoint where they need the strike. You know the little, little, because you know he's got the he's got the little tarot deck he uses to see the future and do all that kind of stuff that Horus needed to duplicate. Hmm. Mm-hmm. How did they get that? Were there multiple? How? I, gee, Bill, there could I, not have been multiple. How did they get the Emperor's tarot deck? How did they get that? I mean, there's there there are a couple of copies because. They will be used by governors at times because, mm-hmm. like, remember the guy in Armageddon had one, and it said like, "Oh God, instant death, murder is about to happen," and he ignored it. Uh, <laughs> so I don't remember that bit. But, so, so it's it's not that implausible that mm-hmm. they could have gotten one. It's just so improbable. Yes, yes, exactly. Um, mm, somewhat implausible. When when the galaxy cracked in half, there's couple moments where everything turned off like you know all the lights and all that and during this moment there were a lot of sightings of a series of astartes clad in nothing but black and like with flames licking them hmm mm-hmm. so well okay that's such a catastrophic event i'd imagine they're like oh god everyone needs us mm-hmm <laughs> and so that that's one possibility that's the most likely the other is they are kind of the collective, because in 40k, the way anything works is is uh, it's, it's kind of like by celebrity rules. If enough people believe in something, it'll just kind of happen, you know? Um, and so there, there's a theory that these guys exist as kind of the collective vision of what a space marine is, you know? Like this, the, like the angels of death. You know, how your average person would view and dream of a space marine This is them. This is the physical manifestation of people's, like, mm-hmm. uh, predisposition to a space marine. Exactly. And with the galaxy ripped in half and everything psychic being buffed to hell and back, it's... That predis- like that physical manifestation is now also buffed. Exactly. Um, there's another theory that these were survivors of the 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 massacres that happened throughout the heresy, um, of which and, there were many. Of which there were many, and so instead of it being the collective dream of like humanity, like oh the angels descending down, it's kind of like the collective trauma from space marines who lived through that. Um, <laughs> so that that's another possibility. Um, it could also just be like dead gray knights. That's another one. That's maybe, just maybe. Just because well, the, the Grey Knights are good enough at their gig and, like, come on, come on. You yeah, know? even with, like, f- some form of warp corruption, they would still retain their own. Yeah, yeah. And, and I'd imagine with all of the exposure to the warp that it not taint them, but definitely, like, do something to them. Make them edgier. It's entirely yeah. possible. Yeah. And then the last, well, not the last one. There's another one we're going to cover later is this is just Space Marine. This is the Space Marine farm upstate. Where you take your space marine and he's old and he's gonna go run around crusading in the green with other uh, other space marines. It's ghosts. Mm-hmm. It's space marine ghosts. It's space marine ghosts. Um, the Inquisition wants. They look so demonic. The you must understand they look so demonic that the Inquisition would like to deal with them. But the main problem or question they're trying to answer now is. Why are they helping us? Well, they are still space marines. They're just a bit unique. Well, you, you, you got them. They look a lot like Chaos Space Marines, but so far they've never done anything bad. Yeah, but to who? But what, what do you mean? Yeah, but to which Chaos God? Is the Inquisition okay, not t- asking that question? To be fair, there's a lot of chapters. There's a lot of chapters out there, man. It could be anyone it could be they, i mean for god's sake there's a black legion which is just like the amalgam union maybe there's a new one for me they don't know maybe right and and but then like every g- time they try and every time they try and study one like oh landslides will happen or like telekinetic bur- bursts uh, y- y- or yeah my favorite sudden mass aneurysms like they, they will get close to capturing one and then everyone in a mile will have an aneurysm that that's so wacky mm-hmm so, mm-hmm. mass aneurysms? Mm-hmm. 
Oh. And, and so you take that, this faction that looks, it reeks of chaos. They seem to cause landslides and mass aneurysms. Everyone who sees them and is saved by them starts to forget about them. And our own machine spirits get traumatized by seeing them. Like, this isn't this isn't like a minor, oh, get a tech, tech priest to talk to this thing. This is... You have to counsel the machine so that it can tell you what it saw. Oh. Like, you have to take it to therapy. My God. Well, the, the, I thought this was just like a... Nope. No, you have to ask it a little bit nicer. You have Mm-mm. to take this machine to therapy. Sketchy. For it to be able to tell you what it saw. They're so sketchy. Hmm. You see why Inquisitors... like I, is, I need to understand what is going on with these guys. Especially when we've seen the army appear two places at once. And they just seem to be able to get anywhere they want to without any problems. Yeah. Yeah. If, if I'm an Inquisitor, I am concerned at the very least. Mm-hmm. And fairly recently, we've gotten... I won't say answers, because that's not right, and I don't think we ever will get answers, but we've gotten some interesting sightings of things, like in the in the end and the death and uh, in Master of Mankind. We've seen a couple of things that are like, hey, hold on. Wait a minute. Just, just getting a little bit close. Because mm-hmm, the main problem with the Firehawks theory is they disappeared fairly recently. And the Legion been... of the Damned has been around a lot longer than they've been gone. Mm-hmm. And so it's like, what, what, what's happening here, right? And and so that's kind of the, the, the main problem with that theory. What we have, what we know is like demon, demon space marines are a thing. We've seen them before, right? Not not like, I mean, they're demon primarchs, right? But they're, they're chaotic. I, space I'd marines. imagine if you could demon a primarch, you could probably demon a space marine. I don't think we have. Have we not? Mm-mm. We've seen space marines pr- possessed by demons. Mm-hmm. But I don't, don't think, think it's like a, f- a proper demon space marine. I don't think it's a very far stretch to get to demon mm. space marine. Yeah, but we haven't seen like a proper one yet. I don't know mm. why. But yeah, you're you're totally right. It, it's these things do happen, and so we know like demons can toy around, and chaos can toy around with space marines, right? And in the end, in the death, there's this prophecy about a new chaos god set to emerge, known as the Dark King whose whole gimmick is just to destroy without any reason or purpose. Hmm. Mm-hmm. And the whole time it looks like, well, that's just Horus. That's clearly, that's Mr. Heresy, right? Yeah. But but eventually we discover that it's none other but Jimmy Space himself. I, I would figure. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, um... Considering he seems to be the closest to godhood that uh, anybody is, uh... And this is pre-chair, by the way. Really? This is pre-chair. This is pre-chair. Oh, this must have scared him. Yeah, and, and... When when the Emperor is getting ready to absolutely just beat Horus with a steel chair, I mean, it was not going to be close at all, he reached deep into the warp to the point where he immediately vaporized a couple of custodians near him by mistake. Huh. Yeah, and he, he became this, like, sphere of obsidian that would cause any demon that saw it, any traitor that saw it, to flee in panic. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, you say s- sphere of obsidian, and immediately I'm like on red alert because mm. it's like that's the same color as the the legion's armor. Thankfully, somebody managed to talk him off that ledge, and so we didn't get to see what that looks like. It was delayed, but with the way chaos works, whenever they say like, "Oh, this is gonna happen," it doesn't matter if it happens tomorrow; it will happen. You yeah, know? like when. It's it's a kind of thing where because of chaos is weird timey wimey that it has always been and it will always be. So like once they say like oh yeah the dark king will happen it it always has happen. been yeah. it always will be. There is like <laughs> no consistent stream of time in the, chaos. The dark king could be in the room with us this very moment and we it, don't know. Exactly, exactly. And when you consider that and suddenly you have a bunch of space marine who are very their armor seems to be made of nothing but obsidian and mm-hmm. they seem to be helping the Imperium. Maybe, just maybe, this is the beginning. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. This is the closest we get to Imperial demons. Especially when in Master of Mankind we saw the Emperor summoning fiery space marines and custodies. Yeah. It's a, it's such a good scene, by the way, because he... They do a good job of describing the Emperor as this like larger-than-life figure and like they, they paint this image where... 
because we, we've all seen art of Jimmy Space, right? He always looks like just massive, larger than life, sword clad in Big flame. Big bombastic, you know? yeah, flaming yeah. sword. But but they, they, they usually they, doing a heroic pose or striking at something, right? And so they touch on that because everyone who sees him sees that version of him, this larger than life thing. But they look at this sword and it's not as like graceful as it should be. It's not the typical like wreathed in flame, regal thing. It just looks like a weapon. Like, there, there's not much too special about it. It just looks like a weapon. And he uses it to set fire to the webway. Yeah, the guy's very powerful. Set fire to the webway? I'm not going to bother to explain the entire context behind this fight because then we're getting into hard heresy. But yes, yes. And in that moment, you can see fiery space marines, custodies, and, quote, the tenth son of a dying empire, reborn in immolating wrath. The... What? Yeah, one of the Primarchs. Ferris Man is the guy who lost his head. I see. Mm-hmm. Wait, he like summons Ferris Manus as a fiery specter? Mm-hmm. Which means there's kind of no limit to what this Legion could be. Um... Mm-hmm. And this is pre-chair. This is pre-4 oh. trillion psychers. Yeah. To be fair, he died, but also... Yeah. Whoa. Mm-hmm. The implications of that? Mm-hmm. And, and so that's why I personally... But also the thing that, like, frightening is... Uh, he's supposed to be a god of destru- destruction? Mm-hmm. As... Well, this is the Dark King is supposed to be. A very... Hmm. How far does that destruction go? Because at the moment, they seem to be helping the Imperium. This is brand spanking new, baby. We don't know. But also, at the moment, Jimmy's space is still in the chair. Do you think the chair might be just a limiter? I, I, I don't. Know. Do you think the chair is not sustaining him, but keeping his... It's not impossible. ...ascension from happening? It's fully not impossible, is what I'll say. Because... It's been posited before, one of the big theories is the chair, like the Emperor would come back if he died naturally, but they have like halted his life cycle effectively Mm -hmm. by keeping him there out of fear. And so whatever he comes back as when he dies, yeah. I think this is going to be my prediction for 40k's end times is the chair is going to stop working and like a phoenix this man is going to get reborn as some form of chaos god and i don't know if he's going to be loyal to the imperium at current or not i mean if you're gonna bring back primarchs why not bring back their dad as the ultimate opponent sure yeah sure why not um so i i pr- it, it's what leads me to think that the answer is somewhere in the middle you know maybe it is the firehawks is the core group that was the first one to start this, but now like or, various dead legionnaires can join in as time goes on. Well, my immediate thought after like hearing that like they've been around since before the Firehawks is maybe the Firehawks went missing, did their like whole being in the wrong place location like thing, and uh, when they were there, um, they sp- saw some form of eldritch knowledge, and then were like, we need to organize this. And so maybe, maybe maybe that's what's going on. They could have it, this could have been like a thing before them. They discovered it and went, hmm, we can do something with this. And 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 part of it is also we've seen like a couple of Marines who aren't Firehawks in there. Like there's one who was who looks an awful lot like a very old Ultramarine Legionnaire who just died. And so it's like, hmm. hmm. So, how did you get there? We are not sure what they are, but there's a lot of fun, fun things that they could be. What we do know is they will always be there in the nick of time. When the Tyranids invaded the Blood Angels, they were there. When the Imperial Fists were attacked by the Iron Warriors, they were there. When the Salamanders were captured, they showed up as well. When the Black Templars were assaulted, they every time something bad is about to happen, they've or just terrible, been there in the nick of time. Y- y- yes, pretty much. Um, they have. They, <laughs> they prevented the guy in charge of the Black Templars from being taken by Vect. Because Vect wanted him as a... He'd be the perfect of thing. Of course he the, wanted him mm-hmm. as a puppet. No, 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 not as a puppet. He'd be the perfect thing for the Colosseum. He'd be the perfect thing for the Colosseum. Hmm. Yeah. I'd love the Dark Helper. Mm-hmm. They, they've showed up for the administration, the administratum when... Um, 
they, they use these massive things called logic engines to keep the things going. It's not quite Excel, but it's the best they got. It's like a mechanical calculator, which, by the way, are really, really cool to watch. And work. if they were lost, the administratum that would, would cause a problem. They showed up to prevent that. Listen, that's the least amount of technology they have, and like it's it's essential. Yep, yep. They're the ones who they showed up at the thirteenth. Obviously, like every of time course. something important. Shows Everybody up. showed up at the thirteenth, didn't they? Pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. And they fought everyone, I think, except for the Necrons. That's it. Hmm. Mm-hmm. The the one faction in forty k that can block the warp. Yeah. Weird. Hmm. <laughs> I wonder if this is a. They have not fought the Necrons out of a. They just haven't had an opportunity, or out of a. They can't. Yeah. We will never know. Um, maybe it's the Firehawks. Maybe it's whatever's left of the Iron Hands. Maybe it, 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 we don't know. What I must do is turn it over to maybe you. What do you think of them? Space ghost, but not coast to coast. Um, no, it's coast to coast. Arm to arm. No, it's it's, coast it's to the coast. galaxy. So it's not the, the galaxy doesn't have coasts. No, oh, you're right. Yeah. I think it's a, yeah. Then it, it has to be space armed ghost up. armed arm. Yeah, then it has to be armed arm. Yeah. But what do you think about them? I like the again the moment you described them as obsidian, but with the weird embering effects on them, and I'm like, whoa. They look really cool. Sadly, like they're not like cannon very like they're not very ca- I can't play them as much anymore but mm. well you could paint a model that way yeah you can you it'd be can. impressive if oh somebody, my god people make some good models it'd be models. impressive if somebody took Vanta Black to a model and then just painted like fiery accents on it so it's just like a completely like jet black model you can't even discern the details of it unless you look real close and then flames um, I don't. But think I'd imagine know. that'd be expensive because Vanta Black is expensive, it, it, isn't it? Yeah, it ain't cheap. It's not cheap. No, it ain't cheap. So nobody's done that yet. But people paint and some I'll, really cool models. Also, I, if I remember correctly, when you paint with Vanta Black, it's it's a very touchy paint. Like getting the layering correct and getting the brush strokes correct, it's not. I think it needs to be sprayed on. But yeah, it's just not easy to paint. I mean, look at that. It's so cool. Yeah, they're so cool. Yeah. Listen, I am like a huge fan. I I keep bringing it up because I'm a huge fan of it. Uh the 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 weird like flamey aspects or aesthetic of Dark Rider Souls kind of 3. It 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 it's reminiscent of that and I really really like that. No, yeah, no. I get that. I I fully agree. I I like the the Nick Cage Ghost Rider kind of look they can have going on. Um <laughs> Because sometimes people paint them like that and they can't help but like it. Why not have both? Let's stick Nick Cage in Dark Souls. Somebody's, somebody has the sliders at this point. Uh, we For did, sure. Uh, what if Nick Cage was the, the soul of Cinder? I... What if you walk up to the kiln of the first flame and it's Nick Cage? <laughs> you tire me. <laughs> Uh, you tire me. He's got the what's the spinning weapon from Bloodborne called? The Whirly Gigsaw. The Whirly Gigsaw. He's got the Whirly Gigsaw, and he does that line from um. Uh, there's one horror movie he Nick Cage has done where like Mandy. It, no, not Mandy. Mm-hmm. Oh no, it might be Mandy. No, it's not Mandy. It's the one where like the the parents of these children catch a disease where they become immediately like murderous towards their kids anyway nick cage pu- picks up a, a what movie is that i don't remember what it's called okay. it exists okay trust me okay I, be- I believe you nick cage has a lot of bills to pay so. he picks up he picks up a chainsaw like a battery powered chainsaw and he's he says the stupidest line with the most dramatic reading mm. he's just like it's called a sawzall because it saws all and then he starts trying to like chainsaw his daughter's leg off. I I love just it. imagine Nick Cage in the <laughs> kiln of the first flame with a whirly gig saw, just like sawzall. I I I love Nick Cage. He's such a wackadoo, but I love him. There's there's so. Did you know he's related to Francis Ford Coppola? Who? Hollywood royalty. I'm not as much of a Hollywood industry like fan. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna lie. 
Hold on, give me a moment. Maybe so I, I don't know <laughs> who that is. Uh, he's done a lot of movies. A lot. Of, you've definitely watched some of his work. Maybe I've seen The Godfather, but I've not seen The Godfather. I know that's like a, 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 a one of the seven deadly sins to say that, but I've never seen The Godfather. Seriously? Yeah. None of them? No. Okay, well, we need to fix that. For no, we do need me. to fix that because I'm uh, like I'm very I influenced. Look at his videos. I'm very influenced by my like upbringing, and uh, my uh, my upbringing was not the biggest fan of The Godfather, so it just never happened. Oh, you wouldn't know any of these movies if you haven't seen The Godfather. Yeah. yeah you just you just gotta see The Godfather. Yeah, I know. That's, it's that's... it's something that I know I need to change, but I just haven't gotten around to it. Yep. Yeah, but that does bring an end to this episode. We will see you next week for someone between the three options we have left. Someone? Yeah, someone. Maybe the Minotaur. From what you were saying, they seem to be the... Uh, there's a lot of votes for Next them, but I've also goal. seen I've seen I've seen victory get snatched from the jaws of defeat before. Yeah. You know, and vice versa too. So we will see. As always, thank you so much for tuning in and thank you for being you.